Hello, party people. Let us welcome Paul. John Elliott. John and I are in John's awesome pickup truck, and we are. <laughs> where are we going, John? We're going to get some steel. We're going to the steel store because what time is it, John? It's time to build another roller coaster. It's time to build another roller coaster. And John, what kind of roller coaster do you think we should build this time? A launch coaster. A launch coaster. What a swell idea, right? Because the backyard that we're building it in, it's not really super huge like the last backyard. It's much smaller and compact. And so if you know uh, Accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm or King Da Ka at Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey or Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, that's what we're thinking about. We're thinking about a launch coaster that uses similar technology. John, how in the hell are we going to power this launch coaster? Um, well, we got to deal with power that comes from a house. House. So we got to deal with 240 volts AC. We're going to be putting probably a variable frequency drive on it with a nice controller. So that's where we're going with this one. I, I almost never know what the hell John is talking <laughs> about. So, uh, but. Uh, Super controllable, awesome electric motor, and we're going to use uh, we're going to use sort of a catch car. Oh, another really cool example might be um, in terms of in terms of just like how the cart grabs the rest of the thing. Another cool example might be Pony Express at Knott's Berry Farm. I love that ride because first of all, it's awesome and fun and silly, and uh, and second of all, if you're standing on the line at Pony Express, you can see the catch car roll back down the track and you get a really good idea of how all of that stuff works. And so that's what we're on our way to do. And um, and so yeah, a launch coaster in the backyard. And there's another launch coaster already in Kentucky, um, but that one uses bungee cords as, uh, as a way of getting, <laughs> no. yeah, it uses like lots and lots of bungee cords. It's like a slingshot. That, and that it just sounds goes, like fun. Yeah, yeah, it goes straight out and then it rolls back. And so we're gonna try something a little bit different. Um, I like to play with electricity. Yeah, and playing with electricity is, if you're John, a lot of fun. So we're <laughs> going to, uh, I like playing elec with electricity if John is around to keep me safe. So, uh, and, that is, and that is the case. So now we're going to go to the steel store. We'll pick out what steel we're going to use. That's going to be our next stop. Here we are at the, at, well, it's the happiest place on earth. It's the steel store. Look at all the different kinds of things you can get here. Lots of steel. Yeah. All right, time boy. So talk to me. What are we What are we using to put this thing together? We're gonna use inch and a half round. Okay. Inch and a half square. Yeah. All 16 gauge. All, All 16 gauge this time. No 14 gauge in. No, no 14. No, we're using 14 gauge. No 16 gauge right. this time. Right. That's yeah. right. We like thicker gauge. Thicker. Um. So, inch and a half round. Inch and a half square. And one inch and square. one inch square, yeah. Inch square. So we're gonna use those things, and then the gauge of our track. How how wide is the track gonna be this time? Way wider than we did last time. Way we're going wider. to 24 inches. Yep. So we were like inches. at 16 and a half inch gauge track on the Gold Boss coaster, I think, and this one is gonna be 24 inch, and so, you know, wider than our butts. That's probably <laughs> That's more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it wider Just than want we a are. Bit wider than our butts. So anyway, we're gonna go and talk to the guys and get some of this, and we're just uh, gonna like put together some some stuff here. But yes, we are closer than we've been in a long time to chopping and welding steel for a roller coaster. That's what we like. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the house. We went to the steel store. We got some steel, and now I'm gonna show you exactly what we've done today. Um, <laughs> put forth a lot of effort, but I don't know that we've... We didn't get a lot accomplished. No, no. not very much at all. We had some big ideas. Yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll... But we went through some ideas and figured out that they were wrong. We are, we are failing forward. All yeah. right. You wanna, let's <laughs> see where we're at. All right, hang on. <laughs> what have you done? Tell do I, me. Do I have to? Show me. Okay, fine. Pick them up. Pick them up. Those? Uh, oh, okay. all right. What was the plan? Where the, are we at? The plan, the plan was we we're going to make a truss system to hold our rails and to hold the cable and everything else that's got to go into this. So we were going to end up with some pieces similar to that. 
with All the right. rails on the side. All right, so that was gonna hold the rails, kind of like yep. there and there. With a piece that goes between them that was right. gonna hold our cable and stuff. And it looks beautiful, except for it doesn't work. Well, mm. it works, but we would have to get all new material. Yeah. So, no, we don't want to do that. Yep. Yeah. So some good ideas. Uh, definite E for effort. Yeah, overly complicated. Yeah. Definite E for overly complicated. Yeah. Where we, did, uh, guess where we ended up? Back where we were before. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Go figure, something simple. Yeah. All right, here's where we're at now. So, back to the OG original idea on putting these things together. All right. Hey, show me on the truck. On the truck? Over there. Okay. Go, John, go. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so push this one out. Something like wow. that. Wow. So, John. You know what? It's going to stay there until I look away. So here's the backyard, and the idea is from here, right there. Right there. To... Okay, run! Here... ...is about 100 feet. So what we want to do is start here, launch the cart down that 100 feet of track, reach a speed. I'm not sure what speed. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll tell you later. And then go up uh, towards like where the top of that tree is. A little top hat thing. And then back down and roll out to here. And then the whole thing starts over again. So again, think King to Ka, think Top Thrill Dragster. Really short ride, but really thrilling and a lot of fun and a lot of energy. And we have to do it that way because we have such a small amount of space in this particular yard. But that's kind of the vibe. That's what, And this is day one. We just like decided to get started on this today. So here we are. And uh, we're, we're already learning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the story for the day. That's our... That's our adventure for the day. We've also gotten some other things done. We got to see some cool robot battles this morning. Robots are very cool. Yeah, we yeah. have, we met like a bunch of the BattleBot people. We met Orion and we met Jen. We met some really, really cool people from the BattleBots universe. What we decided about that is that they're <laughs> awesome. And we don't want to build the robots. Yeah. We are going to be excellent BattleBot fans. Um, uh, yes, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. But in terms yeah. of but in terms of expertise and, and being able to make stuff, I think we better just well, let's stick with what we know. Yeah, I'm not gonna build the battle. I build a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, we can do but, that. And that's that was the big takeaway from the battle bots this morning was we looked at that and we were like, that is awesome. Let's go build a roller coaster. <laughs> and uh, and so we and so we watched that and it fully inspired us to build. It drove the next, straight to the, next, the steel yard. Yeah, drove straight to the steel yeah. yard. So couple of things that's it that's it for the day a couple of things as we all know sprinkles are for winners and uh thank you for helping us bring physics family and fun to kids everywhere i am will pemble i'm john elliott we'll see you soon hey guys thanks for watching one quick thing before i let you go since you've watched all the way to the end of this video i wanted to ask if you could do me a favor maybe go to the link below there's a link to patreon i've set up this page so that we can maybe get a little bit of help paying for materials to build this thing. This, this coaster is gonna be a launch coaster. It's gonna take a fair bit of doing. It's also gonna take a whole lot of money to make it come true. The Gold Boss coaster, I think we spent something like 10,000 bucks on that. It was, uh, it, it was worth it, and don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd do it again if I had it to do over again. But I thought maybe you could or might want to pitch in and help a little bit, kind of do a little bit more and get on the team. So anyway, check that link out if you could. If you can't, I totally get it. Please keep watching the videos. Enjoy it. I love doing this, and I absolutely love that you're part of the gang. So again, if you can, check out the Patreon link below, and I will see you next time.